In our last video, we learned how to configure uTorrent to automatically download torrents that were placed in the torrent folder. Today, we're going to look at how to configure TED, the torrent episode downloader, to put those torrents in that folder. So TED's going to find the TV shows as they appear on the internet and then tell uTorrent where to go to get them. And so now we're looking at uh, configuring TED. So you're going to edit, then preferences, and then general. Uh, the default is to check for torrents every 10 minutes, but that seems kind of excessive since TED runs in your background all the time. So we'll just set TED to look every four hours, every 240 minutes. And then you need to browse to the folder where you want to save the torrent files. And that'll be the same directory you selected to store torrents in when you configure uTorrent or to automatically load uh, torrents from when you configure uTorrent. Now remember that you've already configured um, uTorrent to automatically open those, so you don't need to check open it in your default BitTorrent client. And under look and feel, <clears throat> you want to be sure to leave show alerts when TED encounters an error unchecked, otherwise you're going to get a lot of pop-up alerts. Everything else should be checked. Under Edit Preferences Advanced, make sure do not download compressed files is checked. And then as you can see, to add shows, you just click Add Shows, you get a list, you pick what you want, and then you go to the episode that you want to start with. And you can it can either be the next episode, the last episode that was already on the internet, or you can pick a special episode. So pretty uh, straightforward, and that's why we like TED, and that's really the reason that uh, we have put together this tutorial on how to use XBMC to watch TV from video files on the internet. Once TED has found a torrent and uTorrent has downloaded the video, you need to name it. For that, we use the renamer. You want to be sure that the files are in the format shown on this in this picture. Uh, you want the file name to be in the format at uh, whatever the show name is. Dot s, and then you've got two places to put the season number, and then e, and two places to put the episode number dot uh, then the episode title dot then the episode extension so check the circle under s1 e01 and check the circle under add zero for season and leave the separators as periods this works with xbmc boxy or playstation 3. in the pane beside this one check show name season episode titles and confirmation and if you do anime, use the NEDB uh, database. Browse to the fetch folder into which you will have uTorrent place completed downloads and check include subfolders for the TV shows archive folder. Browse to the TV shows folder used by XBMC and then check auto move after renaming. Under moving files structure check to TV show folder and optionally to season folder if you want to have season folders in your show folders. XBMC really doesn't care whether you do or you don't. And it may, may make it easier to navigate if you've got a lot of seasons. Most people don't because you just watch it and then delete it. If you use season folders, check add zero for season. This will place zero before one through nine and make the season folders appear in order when viewed from Microsoft Explorer or folder view in XBMC. The rename preview pane should show the XBMC style folder structure and the file name pane should preview the XBMC style file name. 